हरि ओम स्टार्ट द प्रेयर ओम समस्त जन कल्याणे निरत करुणाम नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचानोरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु माता च पिता बंधुश्च सखत्मे ஜனஸ்வாமிஸ்லோக்கிட்டு சௌஷுப்தமானந்தமயம் மகேஸ்வரம்ஷன் பை தி உபனிஷத் Maya is same as Prakruti and Prakruti is as Krishna says Prakrutim Purusham Chaiva Vijunadi Ubhavapi Prakruti and Purusha are from the beginning less and Prakruti is Mayadhyakshena Prakruti is Ujate Sacharacharam Under my presidentship the Prakruti projects that means I am the responsible for it and Prakruti is a tool under my guidance and that's how krishna defined and he said maya is of the divine origin daivim esha gunamayi mama maya duratchaya mameva e prapadyante maya me tam tarantite it's a divine origin it's on this div- maya of mind is of divine origin and you cannot by any effort cannot cross over why because the effort itself is within the maya so you want to cross over maya but my the effort and all the process are within the maya itself only way to cross over maya is as per krishna says by surrendering to me what does surrendering to me means that means there is no more ego what's ego i am equal to this is ego i am this i am this so all bio data how great i am all this 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 is only ego only and you have to surrender that so surrendering means surrendering my identification i am with any of this so i am not this neeti neeti i am pure i am without any identification because i am a subject and this is an object that becomes a knowledge that knowledge that i am not this but i am pure satchidananda itself is surrender surrendering my false notions about who i am and that it is surrenderance so how do i surrender take the shelter of the lord in the process so this is sarnagati involves having a clear understanding of jiva jagat and ishvara the duality is only apparent and not really real that is how do i know that in the sushupti when you go to deep sleep state it's not just a scriptural statement but it's anubhava also anubhava means experience experience is not i am experiencing something it is experience of deep sleep state that is common to everybody where when i go to deep sleep state there is no waking world there is no dream world and what is there i am there because i say i slept very well and what else is there where were you i don't know what did you do i don't know so i don't know i don't know is only constant um, the expression of the ignorance of that state 
Why? Because I don't know. So in the Sushupti, I and knowing, known, or both subject, object, duality are absent. It's not like, I don't know. Do you know chemistry? I don't know. So I don't know chemistry. I don't know this. Still, knowledge of this, this, or absence of the knowledge of this, this is there in the waking state. But in the deep sleep state, there is no subject, object, reality itself. I don't know that I don't know also in the deep sleep state. Only when I am awakened to the waking state, then I recognize that I do not know anything. I slept very well and I was happy. Why happy? Because I am without any duality of subject object duality. Udara mantaram kurute, adorasya bhayam bhavati, dizi yadva bhayam bhavati. Any speck of difference is going to cause a problem. So any duality whatsoever contributes to of the fear. So oh no, when you go to Vaikunta, you have what? Duality again, because he is there, another fellow is there, even neighbor also made it there, and you are worried, of course, how could he make it? But all are made where? In front of Vishnu. So in the Vishnu Loka also, in the Vaikuntha, there is a hierarchy of jivas there too, where you have a the Lord Vishnu, of course, he is sleeping comfortably in the in the you know, on the snake snake bed, and the, the Lakshmi serving and there is a Vishwaksena there, he is the army officer to make sure nobody comes close by. And there is a, the Bhaktas who are having visa to go there and all this hierarchy is there. And you are one of them there who made it somehow. So in that all we are transporting is the duality we are transporting here to there also. But this the any speck of reality is going to cause a problem. But oh, no, no, you are, don't have any problem because it's a Vaikuntha. That's only by a affirmative statement, axiomatic, axiomatic statement, but Vedanta says that any reality is a problem. So how can I avoid reality? When I understand that I am Satchit Anandam, that is Satchit, I am pure, existent consciousness limitless then there is no duality whatsoever because in the pure existent consciousness there is no being infiniteness there cannot be anything other than that so therefore it is by understanding only is what surrenderance means according to the Advaita here he is talking about nature of the deep sleep state. When I enter the deep sleep state, there is no waking state and the, and the dream world is not there, waking world is not there, including time, space, all are gone. But I am there. So I am beyond time and space. And what else is there? I don't know is there. That means the ignorance is there. And that is what? Ignorance is an expression of the now having a knowledge by covered by ignorance called the, the, the avarna, I do not know who I am and I don't know anything. That avarna is there of I don't know anything of the subject object duality. Even though I may be a chemistry professor in the waking state, I don't know any chemistry also in the deep sleep state because that's also covered by the deep sleep state. What, what is there? Only the basic, my karmas are still there because when I get up, they manifest again. They are in the potential form. That means the buddhi is folded and all that along with it is a folded buddhi with the vasanas are there. And that is essentially what he says. Sushupta anandamayam. Because of the absence of duality, it's called pure ananda. Ananda is absence of the reality is Ananda. It's a reflected conscious Ananda, not Swarupa Ananda, because I do not know myself who I am, even though that part is coming there in the reflection. So, Sushupta, Saushupta Ananda Mayam. A Saushupta, the deep sleep state is Ananda Mayam. It is completely covered with homogeneous pure bliss. And that's why everybody wants to go to sleep. And even I may have problems at the body level or the mental level, 
all problems are dissolved because they are only at the relative level. If they are not intrinsic problems, because I can easily get rid of the problems and be comfortably sleep. Therefore, people take also sleeping pills in order to go there. So here, saushuptamanandamayam prakramayivam sutir jago. It is prakarshanam. That is essentially the 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 starting with the with the, with the discussion sutim eva. The the scripture talks about stating with that saushuptam anandamayam. That's how the scriptures start beginning with the blissful consciousness in the deep sleep state and concluding with the remaining statements of is, is also the Lord also in the in the deep sleep state. So the blissful seek is essentially representing of the pure Ishvara because he is pure Anandamayam only. This quotation comes from Mundaka Upanishad as well as in the, the Brahadarnaka Upanishad also. Now we go to 159. Vitarkyastvam Mayayam Sarva Sambhavat Mayayam Sarva Sambhavat So Tasya, Tasya means the one referring to Bibhav, the blissful seed, Anandamayam, Tasya of that blissful seed, Sarva Jnatma Adike, also you have to say it is of the nature of Ishvara there and from the macroscopic so if you go to the Mandukya Upanishad, first it describes the Nakanchana Kamam Kamayataya. So I do, there is no desire for anything and there is no, I do not see the Swapnam or I do not see the waking state. That's what is how I def, it's defined as the Sushupti. And again it also says that that's also where the Ishvara is. So how does Ishvara come? Ishvara comes as a blissful seed. Anandamayam is essentially coming from the same part as Ishvara. And that Ishvara which is there is Sarvagnyaha, Sarvagnyatvadike. So his omniscient nature also is Evaina Vipratipajyatam. So this also that not only the is a pure Ananda Swarupam of the Ishvara and also one should know that he is also Sarvajna, knows everything and Vipratipajyatam. Do not have any doubts regarding that because it is by inference you have to find out that Lord is in fact Sarvajna. We will discuss that. Sautartasya vitarkya tvam. So vipratipadyatam. Sautartasya of the statements of the Upanishad. Avitarkya tvad are not to be topics to, to tarkam. That means you cannot logically try to analyze it. Is, uh, how can Lord be Sarvagnyaha? And if you want to go and debate on it, so it will be useless debate. You have to take it for granted. Because Maya I am in the field of Maya, Sarva Sambhava, everything is possible. So he says everything possible, therefore there is no question, keep on, don't argue on a logical basis. How can Lord be Ishwara be Sarvajnaha and Sarva Shakti Man and, and uh, also Ananda Swarupa. So Satyam, Jnanam, Anantam, Brahma or Satchit Anandam Brahma, so Anantam Eva Anandam. So Anandam, Anantam and he is also Sarvajnaha, Sarvabhitu. So in the Mundaka Upanishad, he uses the two words in the ninth sloka of the, of the first chapter in the first section. So define the Ishvara, says they use the word, two words Upanishad uses, Sarvajnaha, Sarvas, Sarvajnaha and the Sarvabhitu. He knows everything and he knows everything. Why should he repeat it? 
इसे सर्वज्ञ इन्वॉल्व ऑल ऑब्जेक्टिव नॉलेज ऑल्सो ही नोस एंड सर्वविथ ही ऑल्सो नोस दी द ट्रूथ अबाउट हिमसेल्फ ऑल्सो सो बोथ दी पराविद्या पराविद्या दट्स ऑफ दी स्क्रिप्चर डिफाइंस द टू दट्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट वॉन्ट टू नो वॉट इज दी ट्रूथ ऑफ दी वॉट इज द विद्या टीचर से दे आर टू अपराविद्या एंड पराविद्या एंड ही इज एन एक्सपर्ट ऑफ बोथ देर फोर स्क्रिप्चर यूज टू वर्ड सर्वज्ञ सर्वभित एंड दिस इज अ स्क्रिप्चरल स्टेटमेंट डोंट ट्राई टू लॉजिकली एनालाइज but we can think of logically once we define ishwara who is an ishwara ishwara is the one who is a jagat karta ishwara he created the universe how do you create the universe you should in order for him to create the universe you should have the know how of how to create the universe so if i am creating a part i should know how to make a part i may should have the tools and material and also know how without know how the tools and all that they say i have to go to somebody who is an expert who knows how to do it so you now we have in the computers you have a lot of problems we have computer but you don't know how to fix it so you need there are people who are computer experts to come and do it also so this is a because you need in order to create something you should have the know how of how to create it and that know how if he is creating the whole universe including all things that are found in the universe because scientists only discovers not invents discovers what is there in the universe so a gravitational force is there it is discovered remove the cover means he understood what is there so scientist only discovers only but what who created that is is he Uh, if if some that is thing in the universe is created along with the laws also created is that the science cannot answer also because it's a big bang occurred it occurred if you believe in big bang no problem but if you ask questions where did big bang occur you are in trouble because where is a question of space and where did it occur how did it occur what are the laws how did the laws come into picture all these things cannot be answered if you want to know really where did it occur it occur everywhere because there is no place of where because space there is no space space came space came with the big bang material also laws came with the big bang and you cannot ask what was there before before is a concept of time time also came with the big bang only it is only that's why the science hides under it's called singularity so you cannot answer those questions but you will say or if you ask the question how did you answer you cannot answer is what he saying don't question it because you have to accept it as the truth so therefore this is pratipadyatam don't doubt about it and don't use your logic there in order to analyze the system as what vidyaranya says here roman 16 ayam yat srujate vishvam ayam yat srujate vishvam tadanyatha tadanyatha itum puman tadanyatha itum puman nako pishak saktaste nayam nako pishaktaste nayam sarveshwar iti ritah sarveshwar iti ritah अयम यत्जते विश्व तदन्यथ इतम पुमा न कोई शक्तस्ते नयम सर्वेस्वर सो अयम दिस विश्वल ईश्वर वी सर्वज्ञ वी ऑमनीशियंट यत विश्व दट वर्ल्ड सृजते क्रिएट्स दट एंड दिस वर्ल्ड दट ही क्रिएटेड अन्यथा इतम एंड इट के नॉट बी altered or or changed by means we can't be none can change its thing only they have to learn what it is and adopt yourself you can see this if tsunami is coming oh let me change the tsunami so that it doesn't go this way it goes that way i cannot do all that all i have to do is get out of the place so even simple storms i cannot change it all a scientist can do is discover if possible what's the path of it and based on the data he can predict what is going to be or how intense it is and based on that he may be right he may not be right depend upon his calculations and there are so many factors that he may not 
be able to count and when things change oh it changes the path and why did you tell me i don't know it's going to change because there are several factors beyond my control even to predict it so here he says no one can change anything no one can change the the way the the storm is going to move or the the uh, tupan or whatever is um, the is going to travel i cannot i cannot even predict it or can only predict that how intensity is by measurements and therefore here it says no no ko bisakto saktaste no i am so why there is a gravitational force can you change the amount of gravitational force for the for the earth compared to something else because i want to go fly you cannot do anything you can use the gravitational force to the degree and use also laws that are available to play with it in such a way that possibility to play is also in the nature only otherwise you cannot do it so all that na kopi sekta hasti so no one has the capacity to alter the nature and na i am sarveshwara haiti ritaha so therefore this is why is called sarveshwara he is the sarva ishwar is the lord of the whole thing and you cannot do anything about it you can only adapt and tune your mind so that you can know how to do it guy when i throwing a ball into the basket basket is somewhere and ball is somewhere so please move the basket so that the ball can go into that i cannot do other i to adjust myself throw it properly and learn how to throw it so that is the only my intelligence and the capacity to do that also lord's gift only even though say even though i can deny the presence of the lord but even the capacity to deny deny the presence of the lord is due to his gift only so that itself proves the lord is there so that's why no one can change it and that is what ishwara is 161 asesha prani buddhi nam asesha prani buddhi nam vasana stattra samstita वासनास्तस्त्र संस्थिता कोडीकृत तेन सर्वज्ञ ईरिता तेन सर्वज्ञ ईरिता अशेष प्राणिबुद्धीना वासनास्तत्र संस्थिता क्रोडीकृत तत्व तेन सर्वज्ञ ईरिता सो तत्र इन द डीप्ली स्टेट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट asesha prani buddhi nam all beings of their intellect that is subtle body the intellects of all of all things and along with the vasanas or the the impressions in the buddhi samsthitah are contained in that so tabhi and with their help sarvam the total world krodi krutam is objectified then iritah sarvagnya that's why it's called sarvagnya so the why is it called the the uh, ishwara is called he knows everything what is he knows what everything of what everything is involved objects objects are coming from due to the impressions of the vasanas because i create my world you create your world and your vasanas create your world so your world my world her world total world is created by the total vasana of all beings put together and the capacity to manifestation of that world is ishvara so he uses the vasana of all beings and creates the world conducive to exhaust those vasana he can create anything he wants but his hands are tied because he has to create according to the vasanas of the people and so total vasana of all being becomes a tool for his creation so indirectly total vasana of all beings put together becomes a, 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 a material cause for him to create in a way and that's why essentially total vasanas are also called maya only so that's what is the maya uses maya to create maya is same as prakriti what is that prakriti maya and all that total vasana of all beings put together is the material cause in which he is using that if i don't like the world 
then I have to change my vasanas. If you don't like the world, you have to change your vasanas. If, you, if, you, if everybody changes their vasanas to a better, then better world is created. Or you will be put in a world where your vasanas matches with the other people and that's what different lokas are also there. All these things are self-consistent and and the vasanas come from previous life, previous life vasanas come from previous to previous life and when did the first vasana started, this is what I, my question was also and everybody asked that question. There was no first vasanas because it's a beginningless creation. So it is, that's why Prakutim Purusham Chaiva Vijunadi Ubhav. So know that it is anadi, beginningless because it is an eternal cycle, cycle doesn't have a beginning and but it can end once I realize for the people who have realized. So more about Vasana 162. Vasana Nam Parochatva Vasana Nam Parochatva Sarvagnatvam Nahichati Sarvagnatvam Nahichati Sarva Buddhishuta Drushtva Sarva buddhishuta drushva vasana svanum iyatam vasana svanum iyatam Together. vasana nam parochatva sarva gnatvam nahichati sarva buddhishuta drushva vasana svanum iyatam So vasana nam parochatva So I cannot directly see vasanas but I can see that the impressions and its expressions are through the actions and so on are vasanas contribute to desires in the intellect desires contribute to the agitations in the mind and agitations will manifest in terms of the actions at the body level so this is the hierarchy so why do i get this kind of desires and the other fellow likes to the other kind of desires, some people like certain things, other people don't like those things, he likes something else. Who made all those things? Oh, that's Lord. It is his own vasanas that I have developed. So when I when I when I was a child, I was not drinking coffee. But slowly, slowly the coffee somebody gave it was good, and I start preparing myself. So the vasanas are impressions, or even though I'm enjoying coffee at that time, it leaves an impression to repeat that experience if it is an enjoyable experience, or avoid that experience if it is a painful experience. So raga dveshas, the likes and dislikes are the expressions of vasanas and the vasanas are in a, in a subtle form expresses in a little bit grosser form in terms of the desires and that contributes to agitation because if i have coffee desire and because of my vasanas then my mind agitated i want coffee i want coffee i want coffee if i if coffee is not there inside i run around to see where I can get coffee because I am agitations are so much I cannot do anything unless I have a cup of coffee. Why? Because that vasana is so strong it won't let me do anything else therefore the agitations are there. Once I have coffee it is so peaceful why the mind has now become calm and quiet agitation less the happiness comes when the mind is free from agitations because now it can reflect pure ananda also. So the ananda is not coming from coffee. Coffee is only instrument that makes my mind calm and quiet and happiness is only reflection of the calm and quiet mind mental state. So happiness is coming from myself but I, the reflection will not be there until the mind is calm and quiet. So here vasananam parotshatva. So if they are subtle I cannot see directly but sarvajnyatvam nahichate. So the, therefore because of the clouding of the vasanas I cannot directly see the, the omniscience of the Lord Ishvara. I can imagine or conclude by looking at galaxies and galaxies and galaxies and mind boggling and the whole universe is operating from that I can see the one who created is more powerful than that. So the knowledge of Sarvagnyatvam, Sarvasektiman all comes only by Anumiyate. So Sarva Buddhishu Tadrushva by looking and examining this Vasana Svanumum 
anumiyatam. So it is one has to the omniscience has to be inferred by observation of what you see. So I don't see the Lord, but from what I see, I see, I recognize. When you see a beautiful structure there, you wonder, oh my God, who built this? Who are when you when you see a beautiful art, you say, my God, who created this? You admire, you don't see the creator, but you know there is a creator by looking at the creation. Same way, by looking at the whole universe as a creation, you admire the one, the intelligence of that who created all this. And that's all Anumiyata. We'll come back to that afterward. Excuse me. Okay, let's start with the Purnamada. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om